In this video, we're going over our favorite kettlebell exercises for hockey players. If you're looking to enhance your conditioning, start to develop more strength, or enhance your power, then kettlebells are an awesome tool to take your game to the next level. Welcome back to Real Nice Hockey. My name's Kyle. Today we're going over some of our favorite kettlebell exercises for hockey players. So the kettlebell is an awesome tool, originally from Russia, that hockey players can use to begin to develop strength, power, and conditioning. And it really comes down to what exercise you're using and the protocols you're using with it. So today we're going to go over some basic kettlebell exercises that hockey players of any age or level can use, and then also some high-level advanced exercises that more advanced players can be using. Let's jump in. The first kettlebell exercise we use is the goblet squat. This is traditionally just a classic squat, but in this case we're actually going to use a kettlebell to actually load up the exercise. You can then turn this into an asymmetrical squat where we're just holding a kettlebell on one side. It really changes the loading pattern to be a lot more advanced and high level because now we need to create some sort of spinal or trunk stability. The kettlebell swing is our favorite kettlebell exercise. And the reason is, is because it's a hinge exercise that allows you to generate a lot of force and power through your hips. So in that hinge position, you wanna try and drive your hips as fast as you can forward and really stay braced through the whole trunk. But it's really an awesome exercise to not only train that hinge, but also start to develop strong and explosive posterior. All right, the single leg RDL is another awesome hinge based exercise, but instead of focusing on generating power here, we're actually focusing on strength and stability. This is an exercise where it's essential to be stable and slow. We're not actually going as fast as we can or trying to generate power, but really focusing on being able to control the load through the entire movement. All right, so the kettlebell press is something that we have to go probably a little bit lighter than the previous kettlebell we were using. And the only reason is because we want to make sure that we can stay braced through the entire movement. So again, we're going to start out with that braced position, and then as we grab our kettlebell, we're going to want to make sure that we're pressing straight up with our elbow pointed forward the entire time, and then controlling the way down. If we feel that our ribs are flaring out, it means that we're too heavy. So we need to go with something a little bit lighter and focus on staying extra braced. Kettlebell carry is one of our favorite all-time exercises, and the reason is because it's incredibly applicable to hockey players in that they need to find a brace position through the entire time. So here we're going to be carrying a kettlebell just on one side. So this is technically called a suitcase carry because we're loaded up in a position that's going to be pulling us in one direction, and we want to make sure that we're correcting and staying braced the whole time. So you're going to feel your abs and low back here firing, and that's good. We want to make sure that that's a brace position for as long as we're walking. We're going to walk for about 20 yards out and 20 yards back, and then change hands. All right, these next couple exercises are a little bit more advanced and high level. So if you feel that you've mastered the ones that we previously went over, then we can start to try and increase it, the intensity and complexity of these exercises with these next couple. So our first one is again, we're gonna go back to the kettlebell swing, which is one that we love. We're actually gonna use just one arm here. So it's gonna be an alternating kettlebell swing. This alternating kettlebell swing creates a, an intense core demand because you want to make sure that we're not swinging our back or trying to have any twist motion here, but staying braced right from our shoulders down to our hips. The kettlebell snatch is an awesome exercise to begin to develop some power. So here, much like a hand clean or like a barbell snatch, we're going to use that same explosive hinge movement where we're trying to generate as much force from our hips and then extend it up all the way through a triple extension to our lower body and right up to a finishing position. You're going to want to perform this for only around six to eight reps and make sure that the load's not too heavy that you can't control it. All right, so the kettlebell lunge snatch is a high level exercise where again, we're gonna use that snatch position where we're trying to generate as much power from our hips, but this time, instead of catching high or catching above our head, we're actually gonna catch into a lunge and then a press. So this is a kettlebell snatch, lunge, and press all in one movement, and it's a very high level movement, but it's awesome to be able to develop some power and also can be turned into a conditioning exercise. Bottom up kettlebell walk is an awesome exercise to really begin to challenge some shoulder stability and staying braced not only in our trunk, but in our upper body as well. So here we're gonna have a kettlebell. We're gonna be walking as if we're a waiter. So making sure that we're super stable and super braced everywhere throughout our body because movement here is actually what we're trying to avoid. So we're trying to resist all movement and really just staying braced through the entire body. All right, so those are some of our favorite kettlebell exercises. And it's awesome because kettlebells are something where you really just need one or two at home and you can get in a phenomenal workout. So it's important to note that today we use two different kettlebells, one a little bit lighter where we can have a little bit more control or have a more complex exercise, and then one a little bit heavier where we can actually load up and start to get a strength or power stimulus. So if you're interested in these kind of workouts, you can either check out our YouTube channel, our Instagram, or head over to relentlesshockey.com where we have programs built just like this, and let's start training relentless. <laughs> 